Earlier this week, New York Governor Kathy Hochul would not tell us what she planned to do about parolee re-imprisonment for nonviolent technical violations and general overcrowding in the jail system, including at facilities like Rikers Island. Are New Yorkers going to be happy with your decision? Yes, they will. Fast forward to Friday afternoon and Hochul, surrounded by supporters and criminal justice advocates, signed into law the Less is More Act. The new law will immediately trigger the release of 191 Rikers inmates who are currently being held on nonviolent parole violations. Today we're taking on an aspect of our criminal justice system that's too often overlooked, the antiquated system of the parole system. Addressing overcrowding and other health-related conditions at Rikers is just one aspect of the new law, which, moving forward, will also incentivize good parolee behavior for not violating the terms of their supervision. But New York State Senate Republican leader Rob Ort sees it differently and attempted to establish a connection between increased crime, the hot-button issue of bail reform, and the new law designed to stop punishing parolees for technical violations. Quote, under one-party rule, violent crime has been on the rise across the state. It began with Democrats' so-called bail reform in 2019, and it will undoubtedly become worse with this new law signed today. This is a watershed moment for all of us. Donna Hilton is a criminal justice advocate who was also imprisoned for 27 years. She stood proudly with the governor Friday during the signing. Would you want to be sent to prison because you missed a meeting? or you missed an appointment? Would you want someone to treat you so cruelly and inhumanely because you just did something that was not criminal in, in, in behavior and intent? That's wrong. So you're telling me the person that's jaywalk and because they, are, they happen to be on parole, that it's okay to send them back to prison for what? So we can spend more of your money <laughs> that you have to put into this system? Aside from the just under 200 Rikers inmates who are going to be released, the other aspects of the Less is More Act take effect next March.